Quantum mechanics is one of the most successful theories in physics, yet it still poses some fundamental questions about how the universe works. One of these questions is whether quantum mechanics is complete, or whether there are hidden variables that determine the behavior of particles in a way that is not captured by the theory. In 1967, John Clauser, a graduate student at Columbia University, became interested in the possibility of proving hidden variable theories correct after stumbling across a library copy of Bell's paper. Clauser and his graduate student Stuart Friedman performed the first Bell test in 1972. They had to use makeshift equipment, including duct tape, because they had little funding. In their setup, pairs of photons were sent in opposite directions toward detectors that could measure their state or polarization. In 1982, Alain Aspect proposed a way to close the locality loophole, which could allow the influence of hidden variables to slip through undetected. His experimental results only bolstered Clauser's findings. Anton Zeilinger and his team improved on Aspect's work in 1998 by conducting a Bell test over a distance of nearly half a kilometer. Finally, in 2013, they tackled multiple loopholes at the same time. Marissa Justina, a quantum researcher at Google who worked with Zeilinger, describes a loophole-free Bell experiment as a giant systems engineering project. Creating an experiment closing multiple loopholes required finding a perfectly straight, unoccupied 60-meter tunnel with access to fiber-optic cables. The dungeon of Vienna's Hofburg Palace was an almost ideal setting. In 2017, a team including Kaiser and Zeilinger performed a cosmic bell test. They sourced their random decisions for detector settings from stars sufficiently far apart in the sky that light from one would not reach the other for hundreds of years. Bell tests allow physicists to remove the bias of anthropocentric aesthetic judgments from the equation and purge from their work the parts of human cognition. Bell tests may not answer all the questions about quantum mechanics, but they are an essential tool for exploring the boundaries of our knowledge. Please join our YouTube channel Wild and Free Exploration next time as we explore.